Hello, it's Rachel from Carol and Cream. Today I wanted to show you this gorgeous suite that's in our new brochure called Blooms and Bliss. It has this lovely stamp set called Blooms and Wishes. Kind of when you stamp these flowers, they actually look like a watercolour effect. Um, lovely little sentiments with it. And then also, as Stampin' Up! is so good, they also do cardstock and papers that match. So this is called the Blooms and Bliss Designer cardstock and it's in three colours which complement some of the papers that are in this. And this is the Blooms and Bliss Designer series paper. <clears throat> so, double sided, 12 by 12, gorgeous colours, absolutely gorgeous. Let's give you a quick flick through. So you have two of each. <clears throat> These are so, so pretty. Okay, just gives you an idea of what's in that set. And it's in the new brochure, I will show you it on page 139. I'll just show you quickly. 139, and like I say, it's Blooms and Bliss Suite. There's your papers along the bottom. Your stamp set. Here's some of the little projects that they've made with it so far. You see that? I'm probably zoomed out a little too close for you. Um, they've given some ribbon ideas which match. And it also tells you, if you go to page 173, and Stamping Up do this, so make it super easy for us. They have a page with all their disc papers and then they have the little blocks at the side with the cardstock that matches. So basically the Blooms and Bliss Designer Series papers tells you the colours that's in it. There's Blushing Bride, Island Indigo, Mint Macaron, Rich Razzleberry, Sahara Sand, Sweet Sugar Plummer and the Whisper White. And then the cardstock which they've packed with it, 24 sheets, 8 um, of each of the three colours. And they've given you Island Indigo, Mint Macaron and Sweet Sugar Plum. So they just make it super easy that you can basically order the papers, the cardstock and the stamp set and you're ready to go to make beautiful projects. So today I'm just going to show you a really quick way to use this stamp set. Just bring it back in again to show you. I love the script of the writing so we're going to use the for you on this one. I'm going to use the bigger flower and then a couple of the little bits and pieces. And I'm just making little notelet cards. Um, nothing fancy at all, ideal for beginners but really quick and easy if you're in a rush. So I have my stamps already mounted. Uh, card blank 4x4 and we're going to start off with the bigger of the flowers first and the colours I'm going to try today are Calypso Coral. I'll show you some of the ones that I've made um, already and then you can see which colour you like the best. So we're just using the big flower first. I'm just going to and pop it into this corner here. Move that to the side. And then still using the Calypso Coral, we're going to bring in this flower here. So I'll just ink up our stamp. I'm going to come down to the side. And again, up to the top. That didn't, let's see if we can just line up. The good thing about the photo polymer, you usually can just push back on. There we go, perfect. Just going to clean that off so it doesn't go onto our project anywhere else. Okay, and then we're going to bring in mint macaron for one of our little leaves. And I'm just going to use the little stem, I'm just going to sort of put it in between the petals slightly. I'm going to stamp it once and then just move it slightly and stamp again. So you have a slightly faded leaf as well, just to fill it out a little bit. And again, stamping once and stamping off. Okay, 
So you've got three leaves there the way you've stamped once, moved it slightly without re-inking and stamped again. Then using this little flower here, little circle flower, I'm going to bring in the pool party just as a contrast. I'm just going to dot this in randomly, just to fill some of the space. Of course, when you're doing this, you can be as flexible as you want, and you can go anywhere you like. But it's just to fill some of the little gaps around. And you really could go to town with the different colours. I don't want to go too mad. And then lastly, I'm just going to put our sentiment on. I've chosen the For You one. Bring him back in the Calypso Coral and you can see how quick this is to make if you wanted to get lots done. I think it would be lovely with a little gift bag. I'm just trying to line up as best I can without getting my head in the camera for you. There we go. <coughs> Final touch. Sorry about my throat today. It feels a little bit like I've got a sore throat on its way. I'm just going to bring in some of our basic um, jewel pearls. I'm just taking the larger ones. I'm just going to pop into the centre of each of our flowers. Just to give it a little bit of dimension and a bit more interest. But that's it. Really quick, really easy, super simple. One stamp set, just a couple of inks. So that one we used Pool Party and Calypso Coral. This one was Wisteria Wonder um, with Flirty Flamingo. This one I used Sweet Sugar Plum and Blushing Bride. And then lastly I tried Lost Lagoon and Tip Top Taupe. So all the same, same idea, using the big, big flower first, the smaller ones, keeping it to the same colour, then adding in little contrasts. I just think they're really lovely. I'm going to make a couple more, make them as a little set. I think they'll make a nice gift too. Hope you like the project. Please pop back soon. Thanks. Bye.